Okay, today we're talking about ceiling fans. So, according to the NEC, the National Electric Code, as of 2020, uh, Section 314.27C is what talks about boxes at ceiling-supported fan outlets. The important takeaway here is outlet boxes or outlet box systems used as the sole support of a ceiling suspended fan shall be listed, shall be marked by their manufacturer as suitable for this purpose. So what am I talking about here? So if you're remodeling your house, remodeling your facility, building a new structure, and you have access to the, 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 uh, the studs in the ceiling, that would be new work, and you would use this type of ceiling fan box. Um, 12 bucks at Lowe's at the time of this recording. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not a paid promotion for Lowe's or any product you see on this video. Uh, this one is it's galvanized metal, all steel construction, inch and a half deep brace, and the braces accommodate uh, joist spacing from 16 inches to 24 inches. And you can use different types of conduit. But for this model, the maximum support load if you're going to install a ceiling fan is 70 pounds and 210 pounds at 16 inches for static light fixtures. So these type of boxes are also used when you have a really heavy light fixture or a chandelier. You need to tie into the structure in the ceiling on both sides. So in other words, both joists, not just one joist. Now, if you have an older home, an existing building, and you want to add a ceiling fan, and it's not possible to, to access the, the two by fours in the ceiling easily, or you don't want to cut into the drywall, etc. there's not attic access, they make these old work ceiling fan boxes. It's a, it's a retrofit kit, and you can see it has an adjustable um, threaded arm on one side, and so you essentially put this up into the ceiling and then you un unthread that, that, that left arm there that you see and tighten it against your, your 2 by 4 studs in the ceiling and secure it. Wow. And again, this is adjustable for 16 inch to 24 inch joist spacing. This particular model is 4 inches in diameter, inch and a half deep, the box. Again, has knockouts, steel construction. Um, the brace is designed for maximum support load of 75 pounds uh, ceiling fans or 110 pound light fixtures on 16 inch joist span. So here's the light fixture and ceiling fan in my living room. When I bought my house, it had the ceiling fan, but the ceiling fan did not have the light fixture that you see in the picture. I installed that after the fact. Using a ceiling fan light kit, like you see here, they range in price. You can buy them online at your local big box store, right around 20 bucks. They come with installation instructions. But basically, you'll remove the switch housing cap. Usually there's some screws that hold that cap in place. And again, when you install this light kit, make sure the power is turned off to the fan. You do not want to work on live, uh, with live electrical wires, obviously, for safety. So once you remove that little housing cap, you'll see the wires in there. And then you'll connect those existing wires in the uh, ceiling fan box there to the wires in the uh, light kit and again it'll come with instructions telling you what wire to hook up where and then that light kit will now mount 
to that ceiling fan box. Now, ceiling fans can be wired a couple different ways. In my house, I have two switches on the wall. One switch controls the fan on and off. The other switch, as you see, controls the light on and off. So when I installed my light kit, you don't have to pull new wires, new conduit, nothing like that. The wires are already in there. Generally, the red hot wire goes to the blue light wire on the fixture. The black hot wire, the other hot wire, goes to the black fan wire. The white neutral wire goes to the white wire. Your ground wire goes to the green ground wire. Because generally when you look at a ceiling fan, you'll see two hot wires, a neutral wire and a ground, and people get confused by that. That's because they separate out the power wire for the fan motor and give you a separate hot wire for the light. In some applications, you may just have one wall switch. In that case, the black hot wire goes to the fan, uh, black fan wire, and the blue light wire. They get spliced together in the wire nut. And then, of course, your white neutral wires get spliced together. And then your, uh, your ground wire goes to the green ground wire. Uh, with this setup, when you turn the switch on, it's going to turn the fan on and the light on. Uh, but most ceiling fans have a little pull cord or pull chain that allow you to turn the light on and off or the fan on and off if you just want one or the other. And some ceiling fans even come with a remote control now. So a few things to note. On the side of my ceiling fan, you'll note this black switch. Depending on what position you put that switch, it's going to change the direction that the ceiling fan spins. And then again, here's the pull chains I'm talking about. One turns the light on and off. One turns the fan on and off. And if you have a multi-speed fan, if you pull on the chain multiple times, you'll go through the different fan speeds and then finally get to off. Uh, another thing to note, if you have high ceilings in your building or your house, they make these um, hoists. It's essentially a cable, and this hoist gets mounted up in the attic or above the ceiling, bolted to the structure of the building, so to the 2 by 4s in the ceiling. And you have to provide power to it, and then this will provide power to your ceiling fan, your chandelier, or your light fixture. And when you push a button, it's going to lower that ceiling fan or light fixture down where you can change light bulbs or replace the fixture, install the ceiling fan, etc. And again, this one I found on cityelectricsupply.com for $950. Again, not a promotion, just letting you know what's available out there on the market. If you have really high ceilings, this may or may not work for you. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.